All right, uh, so let's get it right this time. Advanced setup. I think, fuck, I turned that off. Wait a second, if I... It's just if I leave the screen, then it changes back. All right. So time victory we will leave on, but that's not really going to do anything. Other than that, everything's good. So, right into it. All right. Maria Theresa of Austria, one of the better civs in the game. I've actually gotten fairly lucky with the civs. I think the first one I got was Bacal. That's a good one. Then Rome. It's also really good. Uh, I think Shaka. Shaka is amazing, obviously. If you don't get an archipelago. And it's a duel. Didn't expect it to be a duel, but oh well. I'd rather do like an actual game. Maybe I should just try and kill them as early as possible. However, I'm not sure that'd be a good idea since this is immortal. I should try... You know, I think that's the only way I can play this series. I have to make it another quick one, because I don't want to spend an entire series just with me and one other AI. So, I guess it's a... I can, like, reveal nothing by moving. This remo reveals, like, one spot. I think I'm just going to settle on spots, the only hill within range, and it's on a coast and gets all the tiles. So, scout. Hopefully I don't get overrun early. That would be pretty disappointing. But, uh... <sighs> if I beat this... Well, technically I've beaten Deity, if we're counting the time I used the uh, glitch. Well, it wasn't even a glitch, it's a ga game mechanic, but... If we count that one time where I set it to one turn long... I mean, I have the achievement for it and everything. Alright, so worker. Yeah, this is the best spot to settle. If I moved anywhere, I would have lost. Oh, it's Germany. That's going to be hard. Because the Germany's... Oh, huh, that ruin is mine. Alright, I'm going to try and kill that camp. And an Arbor Baron already spawned. C2. What I even get? I don't even know what I got. I got, oh, that fool. Oh, and there's a wonder I should sell that. Pry on that hill. Research calendar. Yeah, that hill's gonna be the best place to sell. I can kill that. I can kill that brute. The AI might actually go fairly aggressive since there's only two people. It wouldn't surprise me if that happened. Good thing I don't have to wait. I can, like, literally click. And there's also not a lot to explore since this is obviously a dual map. Why would I give him my capital? That's how do I benefit from that? Gotta get that settler out quick. Yeah, this hill is definitely the best place to settle. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot done in this episode. Holy crap! Or in this part. I guess we can focus on killing that encampment. Calendar. Mining next. Yeah, this is, I think, is the best place to settle. I don't think Marsh Count is open terrain. Yeah, they actually get weaker from that, so. It's good for me. That policy. Tradition. Oh crap. That scout might actually die. Hold on. I can probably kill the camp. There we go. Alright. We can chop that force now. That'll actually be a bit helpful. Research. Uh, next is probably going to be... Uh, I already have calendar. So uh, what's within range? Probably trapping. Oh shit, this guy might die. I might. I should probably move him back, to be honest. Alright, good. It's starting to like bombard my R unit. 
my scout's gonna have to move back then as well. No matter where I move, he'll be able to shoot me, so. Oh, he's already sending a caravan in my capital, alright. Did that actually change it? Yeah. I'm actually gonna add a warrior to the queue. Somehow I'm able to get it in two turns. I guess there's an ov a lot of overflow production. Oh yeah, there's not a lot of room on this. Holy crap, his capital must be like right here on the coast. Or actually, it could be down there. But we won't know. And then my capital grows next turn, so perfect. It's a lot of our brains. I can actually work the gold tiles to get the most benefit. He's already 135, so his scores are not too shabby. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, I think this is the best place to get to settle. Gets the you know, wheat, the deer, horses, incense, sheep, and stone. And it's also on a hill next to a mountain with a fair amount of river tiles and jungle, so that's good. Uh, next, I kind of have to explore a bit more to the south in this way, but for now I guess I'll just get a shrine. I'll wait a bit on the next settler. I still haven't found a good city location yet. Let's see. Trapping, I guess next would be, I don't even know, masonry. Let's see. This scout can heal for a bit before it continues exploring. And there's a unit within range, so I guess it's good that I moved it back. Get the bonus from Oligarchy. Bismarck is under the Classical Era. Well, congrats to him. Right, now we got that wine online. That rhymed. And, of course, oh well, I'll be able to kill that encampment anyway with City Bombardment. Is that next to River? It's not, unfortunately, but... That was the wrong unit, but I guess it worked out in the end. Also, start exploring with the scout again. Fortunately, there's an archer there, so I'm gonna wait for it to leave. Let's see. Salzburg. If he claims that territory is his, then I know his capital is. This, is this an inland lake? It is. So, there actually isn't a sea separating us. But I still have to do a bit more exploring. Worker. She's production, granary. Can I kill that? I can. There. Apparently a city state wants one of the encampments dead. There's also ruins there. Yeah, actually, is this actually a lake or what? It has to be, I mean... Like, it literally has to be, because that's what it says, but I'm just not seeing it at the moment. Gone. I should have left my scout back. I didn't anticipate it being able to get through all my defenses. Oh, jeez, he's not doing too well. Barbarians as well. Yeah, so he's down there. Um, that means, what the hell? How did it spawn a hand axe? I don't know how the barbarian system works. I've noticed it with privateers that they sometimes might be able to spawn other barbarian ships. But, uh, yeah. So there's no point in settling down. There's nothing else I can get. But, yeah, I've just noticed that. It's kind of off for me. But, uh, I guess I can, uh, there's actually a lot of space in there. I can kill that hand axe. Unfortunately, that hand axe is gonna, or the other hand axe will pillage all my stuff. He, does he still not know where my capital is? That's honestly surprising. Actually, move. We want to heal the scout because I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but scouts heal, or well, all units heal 25 in a city and 20 in friendly territory. So, Let's see, granary. Well, this I can get. The best is probably Sun God. These uh, wheat farms will be really good with it, especially now that I just got the granary. 
Sun God also. What is else does it buff? Banana, citrus, and wheat. Unfortunately, I only have wheat, but that's still so good in my capital. I have to get it. I don't have a choice, even. Let's see. Sun God. Yep, those wheat tiles are amazing now. Let's see. Can't really get a caravan. Yeah, I'm going to wait till my second city gets a granary. I guess for now I can just get uh, warriors. Built the great library. Congrats to him. If he's going north, that means there's most likely an encampment up there. See research next is probably going to be uh, optics. I'm not even sure what map this is. What is it? Probably Pangea, fractal. So there could be like some just random island. Let's see, Vienna has grown. That's good. Obviously, it's going to continue growing for quite a while due to sun god. That's amazing. Without farms, I'm getting four food, one production tiles, and five food tiles. That's like ridiculous, honestly. So now, apparently that was unfinished. I could trade with him if I really wanted to, but I guess that's not necessary. Let's see, where should this warrior go? I can send this scout to explore and leave the warrior in my cap. And now that, let's work that horse tile. It's much better. Trireme, then. There's nothing else I can really build right now. I need to scout out for more potential settle locations. I just know that the uh, Behringer Crater was something that I wanted. Alright, so. See, now I guess we can start improving the wheat. I'm gonna have to uh, score my settler. I'm going to probably sell down here at some point. Let's see. I'll just leave my scout in this city, I guess. So let's get that six food tile up. 23 damage even in my own territory. That's a bit insane, I guess, but whatever. Oh, he actually is like a bottleneck. I'm surprised. I thought that was uh, connected. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Let's see. And explore with that trireme. Work the other uh, wine tile. I highly recommend against working any wine tiles. They're god awful, but that's all I have right now at the moment. So let's see. Finished optics. Writing next. It's orders. Oh, that's a lot of units. Let's see. We can improve the horses now. Let's see. I guess next there's this cap, Berlin. It's on an inland sea. That's a bit sad. But Oh, there's a sea state here, so I won't even be able to settle. Or, well, I guess it's sort of beeline for, like, that tile, but... Yeah, there's no real other place I can settle then. So, I mean... what's the What would the best way to be to take his capital? I could settle a canal city and sail fleet in, but, I mean, a fleet of what? Just, like, a few Galeas? I, there's, since this is actually a plains tile, there's really good tiles from here to bombard, so... I might not even try and go education. I might end up before that. You can get quite a few military techs without education. The downside being if I fail to end it, then the game drags on. So, let's get granary. Can I kill? I can. Problem is, there's most likely an encampment up there. I'll send my scout to check. Let's see. This. I'm gonna have to send a few other units to help clear that camp. 
but eventually I am gonna want to get cleared. It might actually be wise for me to make the episodes longer in this series, cause there'll be a low amount anyway. You know, promotion. Let's check. All right, so there actually is no encampment here. We can do a shock. Have him heal the cap. Six food tile. That's good. Good. My cap. My uh, other city is not doing too well on food, but my caps. That's more important. I'll probably still send food to my cap. I don't know. We'll see. So philosophy next, and then after this, I think it'll just be military text. Yeah, I'm not gonna accept any trade with Germany. Because all I need is one cap, I mean, if I can take his, I win the game, so. And I guess the only logical victory type on a duel is, he is a settler, but I don't think the AI knows what to do with it. It doesn't really make sense for me to settle here. I guess I could flank from the east, but, yeah, that might actually be a good idea. I'll have to wait till I clear the camp, though, so, or at least till the camp is cleared. I'll leave my scout up there. Seventeen damage. All right, so let's take that, and we can probably settle on this hill. I think. I think that's the best spot. And now that the warrior's healed, especially five. Can we get that any lower? No, actually, that's the best we can get it. So. See. Tag that. Let's see. There's also an oh there is a camp there. Alright. So I'm gonna leave my warrior up there, but uh this warrior it might actually die next turn. It can't if I move back here he won't be able to fire with this. But if I move up here I'll lose HP and then possibly get attacked by this one. It's a risk, but I think I'm going to take it. Because it's a forested hill, so I should have more defense there. Let's see. Let's see, that's a five food farm. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, it did die. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. I guess you can't win all your battles. See, that's a nice production tile there. One. However, that city really needs food. More so than production. Let's move into a good position to attack this camp. If the barbarians try to attack this, they'll simply rank up. And then I'll be able to heal. So. Ooh, there's some island. There's an island there. However, it might not be worth settling, to be honest. Let's see. This city finished a granary. Can get a. To be honest, I'm not gonna want these seeds to grow much. There's not much. I mean, it's not like there are good tiles they can work at the moment. So, let's see, I want to mostly get sea trade routes. I guess with the Vatican. Is that the only close to say I've met? Yeah. So I'll save the trade routes from my cap. Guess this city in the meantime can get a library. Let's see. That's literally suicide. Alright, so there's like literally nothing there, so I kind of sacrificed a trireme, but. I'm gonna need more than one unit to take out this camp, so I actually might just buy a warrior in here. I don't really want to move my scout down, or else a uh, camp might spawn there. Yeah, my trireme died, but. It explore a lot of the sea, and there's actually not much there. It's literally just an island. So let's move the settler and settle here. Unfortunately, that city stays just beelined. It's like four tiles away. Jesus. I don't really want to attack with that warrior, or else it might die. Still lock the food tiles. even though I'm already getting a ton of food in this city. Let's see, this city I guess can get... I think I'm gonna have to get a Trium first. 
in order to uh, ensure that my trade routes are safe. And there's a wheat tile that I can work. There, now that's growth in two turns. Let's see, and there's the last wheat tile that needs to be improved. So all the wheat tiles I have are earning five or more food. That's good. Now cargo ships. The city isn't getting a lot of production though. That's a problem I guess, but what's more important is I have food. Now I'll be able to start attacking that camp next turn. Fortunately that German scout's in the way, so I'm gonna have to wait. Let's see work that camp and that'll be a bit of food. Or uh, production, I meant. Philosophy. I guess bronze working is next just to reveal where all the iron is. It's not like I'll need it, but. Germany's kind of in a bad position right now. Because once I get this city, they have no other real place to expand. Let's see, now we can work that horse tile. And now, as long as I have that triumph guarding, the trade routes of Atkin City should be safe. Oh, so there's iron there already. Perfect. So now, Graz. Actually, I might get walls. Because this city, I have a feeling Germany might try and attack. You look at army strength, they have quite a bit more than me. I'm not really worried about Salzburg getting attacked, but Agraz is more so, it's close to them, so. I'll get a walls in this city too as well. Actually, hold on. I'm not getting a lot of happiness right now. I'm going to want to reset growth, or reset the tiles on these. Yeah, I'm going to get walls in that city as well. Now bronze working has been finished. Guess construction next. It makes sense that I pretty much kill them with composite bows. I can fire from here, 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 and here. And obviously other tiles as well. But I would normally settle a place like that in a game in between those two cities, but let's see. This game, my goal isn't really to build. My goal is more short term than long term, if that's the way to put it. Now we can, I guess we can start working on a connection between Vienna and Salzburg. Once that, uh. Once that, once we finish the wheel. No. Let's see. They adopt policy. Monarchy. That solved my happiness problems, but my cities are still growing, so not really. One more turn, and then I'll be able to start building roads between Vienna and Salzburg. Not bad. In de medieval era in 720 BC, or in 57, it's not the worst. And of course, horsemen just spawns. Thankfully, I was able to clear that encampment in time before it got out of hand. Cargo ship. That'll be to Vatican City. I think I'll wait till I'm able to trade with Riga. Let's see, for now, I guess we can get a library. Oh, unit. You kill that. Oh, not yet. See. This here needs healing. That horseman can do a lot. I'm just gonna play it safe and then heal. Of course the AI the barbarian AI doesn't know what they're doing as well, so they embark there. Last unit. Let's see. Yeah this 
episode gone for 30 minutes, because I just want to finish this as fast as possible, honestly, like, it's just, it's a duel, so, it's, I don't really want to just spend an entire series on this when I can end it as, as quickly as possible, let's see, Coliseum, I guess that's needed, let's see, next I guess will be, uh, metal casting, Workshops will be helpful. Horseman attacking the warrior. Oh, it was embarked, so. Yeah, I don't know why the AI attacks while embarked. It's just something they do. So now I've pretty much explored the entire place, so I'll just move my trireme back just to ensure that my trade route's safe. There, mu there must have to have been like an encampment down there. That's the only like explanation for all these barbs. Just Unfortunately, I'm not able to kill, but next turn maybe. Once my units healed a little more. Salzburg. Or my city can kill it, and I'm not able to. Thankfully, I don't think it can pillage anything, but even so, I mean. Actually, I think it might be able to pillage the horses. But uh, unfortunately, yeah. Or no, what? Oh, I was able to pillage the, uh... Somehow I was able to pillage the sheep. I don't know. I thought they, uh, lost all movement entering rough terrain. But that might be just for knights and not horses. Let's see. Yeah, there's actually not a lot of places to settle on this map. Holy crap. Incense. I also don't have incense. But, uh... Both of these cities would have gotten it from me. About to get walls in my other city. Now we can build the barracks and start churning out units. Surprise, I'm only getting four gold per turn with uh, that trade route. It's fairly good. I guess it's because of the roads, but next turn the ill update. And I'm getting nine per turn. Once that uh, circus builds, then I'll work a uh, food town, grass. These two cities will kind of almost grow on their own. They're like naturally working the food tiles. But uh, this city, I kind of have to manually do it. I don't know why I always do the Q. Worker first. Let's see. Just some roaming galleys from that encampment. Do both these cities have libraries? I think they do. Or except for maybe Salzburg. But no, it should have a library. Yeah, I was right. So. Colosseum. I'll get the free aqueducts eventually. Let's see. I can actually just leave it here. I thought there were four city-states on a map. Yeah. By that logic, that means there's more down here, but I'm pretty sure there isn't, so I'm not going to waste my time exploring there. No, this city can actually work. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll grow in two turns anyway. So you finished barracks. I guess that means it's time to start getting units. Thankfully, I don't really have to take any RC to get to Berlin. If you took this spot, it might have been a bit harder, but not really. And once I hook up that iron, I'll be able to get swordsmen. I'm glad I connected that to my uh, empire. Raga desires trade out. I'm not even sure I can get one to them. Let's see. Yeah, I still only have one sea trader available. I'll probably wait till. I don't think I'll get harbors. But uh, once my sea trader out is range is extended. See swordsman. So once I hook up this iron, which I'm gonna get a worker soon, I will use it to upgrade my uh, warriors because they're a bit. They can pretty much get one shot by quite a few things, or two shot is, I guess. But let's see, which I've given a bit of production. Yep. Let's see, there, his city is on a plains. So, accuracy. 
Also gonna wanna improve that incense for the happiness. I don't even think I'll need siege weaponry. Let's see. Barracks. I don't really need a religion. Has he founded one? He still hasn't founded one. It's usually a bit late for a deity AI, but hey, what are you gonna do about it? Let's see. I'm just gonna use it to scout his borders. No harm. Oh, that's the wrong command. Oh well. Let's see. I'm gonna still want composites. There we go. You can move down. It opt policy, aristocracy. How much iron is the same way? Six? Yeah, that's enough. Move that, finish the road, and then get the plantation. That'll be good for happiness. Let's see. Finished worker, granary next, or granary, however you pronounce it. Let's see. Farm. And this city store of automatically working in the production. Bismarck has completed the Temple of Artemis in his capital, of course. And then workshops. Let's say kind of needs a workshop. Let's see. Let's get machinery next. Let's see. Let's see. Soldiers. Yeah, he's not too far ahead of me now. He's being in some of the art demographics, but in soldiers, not really. And I've kind of stopped my growth because I want more happiness. Let's see. Let's see, the problem is if I wait too long, he might get out of hand. However, I think I've sort of crippled his game by forward settling him twice and like taking any good expansion. He's kind of settled in tundra and desert. He can make one more city here. In fact, he can actually make one more city like up here, but that won't really do him much. Let's see this worker farm. Once I get civil service, these farms will be good. And I also have to hook up that horses. I can actually do that with that worker. See. Now that iron is finished, we can upgrade our warriors and two swordsmen. Let's see. Finished granary, workshops next. That'll help with the city's growth. Let's see. And yeah, declare war. What's he gonna do? I mean he's at war with Raiga. That's a bit annoying. But Don't want them pillaging my iron. That's the worst thing. You can pillage my luxuries, just not my iron. Wow, that did more damage to me. I guess knights are fairly good. What's down here? Oh, he was just a warrior. If he pillages my state connection, that would be a bit annoying. But, uh... He is a embarked unit. Yeah, there's like nothing here. Where is his army? Where is it? Where like honestly, where is it? Where? Guess that's why I didn't get a trade out with Raiga. Let's see, composite bow. I guess I can just start spamming those now that I have a workshop. The city kind of needs it though, I guess. See, he's retreating a bit. He disembarked that unit. Let's see, I guess that the city state AI is apparently worse than the actual AI. I guess it could have completely, it could have pillaged this, the intense. It could have pillaged my city connection, but it didn't for some reason. 
Let's see. He needs orders. He can get vision. What does he have? He has crippled barb. Or a crippled brute, I should say. See, so, yeah, he is not much. Let's see, finish workshop. I'm gonna leave that because that's he also needs production. Produce some composites. We have enough melee troops, I think. I'm just gonna try and encircle the city a bit. I just sign of want vision. I should probably build a tr uh, road to his lands. Thinking about it, he has a spear. Pillage that. We don't want him to have horses. Let's see. It's gonna be accuracy. I'll leave it there just to help fight off the city-state. Machinery in nine. That, that was a mistake for the spearman. Because now I'm just able to harass him. Yeah, I think I'm going to have these two workers help build a road too. I'll most likely be from Salzburg, but I'll also help with the road from uh, Graz. Actually, I can just do the road where I had it, but... Oh well, Vatican. That's the only trader I can get at the moment, so... He attacked my comp and left. That's a lot of damage to a composite bowman, so... I'm actually just going to sort of leave it. Yeah, knights are fairly powerful, especially that knight is double promotion, so let's see. We can just go straight down from Salzburg. Let's pillage that. If he has any city connections, that should hurt him. He's actually willing to give in this peace tree. That's insane. Let's see. Production. Let's see, I'm just. I'm gonna try and do this in one episode, honestly. Because if I wipe him out, then I can say I've beaten uh, Prince Difficulty. Or, uh, immortal. And this is kind of easy mode right now since it's one AI, but. I'm gonna wanna cover that worker. Fortunately, I can't fire on that warrior, but. Let's see. Yeah, these roads should help with the war effort. Apparently, it moved. Oh no, it's in the same spot. Just. I'm gonna move there. And it still attacked me. Alhambra, that's actually fairly quick. I know he has the tech for knights, but. Alhambra isn't a bad wonder. By all means. Let's see. Let's see, let's continue the road. I guess this one can go in this direction. Comp. I might not even need Great Lighthouse. He's just spamming him. Let's see. I'm going to leave that there still just to deal with the city state. Let's see. Yeah, there's not a lot of yes. Once I move all my units into position, then. Move that back, because I'm pretty much just going to want to do this all in one go. I might not even succeed. I might have to wait till uh, machinery. I guess we'll wait. Forge might actually be nice in this city for the uh, production. Let's see. 
this these workers have almost finished the road. I might actually I get markets when needed. Grass. It's a city state. Can't really actually file with that unit, it's a shame. Let's see. Apparently this composite was always here, but I don't know. Let's see. I think I should rush in sometime soon. Because if it fails then oh there's actually a few units here. Should I move this out of range to kill that? Sure, why not? It won't hurt. At least I don't think it will. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, uh yeah, I'm probably gonna move in soon, because once I get machinery I can just build crossbows, I guess, but let's see. That worker has finished the road. Let's see. Oh wow, that fool. Yeah, I think I gotta move in now. I kind of, uh, because now that I have crossbows, it would be wise for you to move in now if and it fails, I'll just start building crossbows. Can you get some better melee units? See, steel. Eventually, I'll take my way to cannons. Let's see. Yeah, there's that's not doing a lot of damage, so I'm gonna need like full firepower on this one. Let's see. have to wait till that worker finishes the road I'm just gonna try and stay as closest to Berlin as possible you can get some farms on those rivers let's see he didn't really do an effective job yet the AI doesn't really do that I guess but so we can actually heal that attack that let's see yeah, these are doing minuscule amount of damage. This one needs to heal most definitely. Let's see. Because I can't even pillage, I would pillage a road. That's my own road. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to wait till crossbows. I don't even really want to upgrade uh, these units. So I'm gonna actually peace out for now. Because that's very obvious that my composites aren't doing much. Let's see. Actually heal faster in the city. That general might help though. I don't know why I'd repair that for him, but... Alright, that's an interesting proposal. I might get a citadel here. Or what I can do is I can buy this tile. Now, before I uh, go into debt. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some uh, markets. Oh, I can snipe his great scientist. Let's see. Alright, so markets quick in these two cities. Once I get those, I will make my push. And I might actually peace out now. Let's see for now. Accuracy two. Let's 
see. Kind of want to kill this archer, but that's not my largest priority. The only way I can kill it is with two swordsmen. So I guess I can move in, kill the great scientists, and then I can kill the archer. Let's see, the best way would be to come from this side. Let's see. Maybe I can continue pushing. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not doing too well in terms of finances. Sort of struggling here. Heal instantly. This worker, I guess, who moved back. Yeah, that did a lot more damage. Another crossbow. We might be able to do it. We'll see. If so, that'll be quick. Yeah, he's still willing to give iron for the piece. I think I can do it. I think I have the firepower. I'm well aware I'm losing gold. Let's see. This one. Let's see. Chop that for the extra production. This one I guess can get a farm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm doing minuscule damage with these composites. Let's see. Let's see. This city just finished a forge. Uh market would be the next preferred. Uh Bismarck is still building wonders. I guess that's almost ex like exploiting the AI. See, accuracy two. Guess this will be another finale. Thought but you were the one, Bismarck. If I was going to lose on a one v one, it would have been you. But yes, you didn't have it in him. Crossbows. It did take me under an hour, though. I'd say. Motion heal instantly. That that would be not a good idea. Fortunately, swordsmen aren't too good anymore when attacking cities. Oh well. Let's see. That doesn't really matter anyway. I just need to reduce it to zero health. I don't even think my reinforcement crossbowmen will do anything. Let's put in my own city. And of course, they're no longer allies. Yeah, I can take it this turn, but uh, can I move? What else can I do? There's like, I'll just do all my units, my moves for this turn. see. Capital is actually size 16, not too bad. Those tiles definitely helped though. Let's see, this city is finished. A market. Crosswoman. Next turn. So yeah, this was a quick series, I guess. Not even. Uh, but I guess I'll use this as an instructional video for how to win on duel. Basically, the only, the most logical way to win on duel is through military victory. As you can see, that's pretty much all I got. I pushed, uh, got writing, got philosophy, never actually got a national college because I ended up settling a third city, which never got a library. But, uh, yeah, once you get that, you sh can pretty much just push military tech. Pushed. First tech I pushed was construction, which is the composite bow. Which I guess now is kind of useless, but it leads to metal casting, which is good for production, workshops, and forges. Uh, guilds, that has nothing. I'm looking at machinery. Crossbows are one of the best medieval range units. Oh. Well, actually, they literally are. I guess they count as the best mid game range unit as well. The side, maybe cannons or frigates if you count those as ranged, but 
crossbows last a while. I mean, now, I guess they're kind of irrelevant. Well, I mean, comps are irrelevant. Crossbows aren't exactly. Because they were the ones who were dealing the most damage to the city. Before they got here, I wasn't doing anything. But, I guess that doesn't really matter. So, and then now let's look at, look at the old tourism. He is 8 already. That's almost enough to actually, like, overtake me in terms of my culture. I haven't even pushed culture at all. I'm using trade routes with city states. Vatican, maybe. Well, mostly. But uh, Riga were allied with Germany for a while, so I didn't trade with them. And, uh, the cities I sold, I didn't settle a lot, because it doesn't make sense to. I probably could have sold a few more. If this were an actual game, I probably would have put this city here, and I probably would have put another city up here. Or, like, I would have maybe sold this one on the coast, and then another one here. And then I probably would have sold this one in the same spot. There's no real art place you can settle. Probably would have sold one here, maybe here. Just I I focused more so on the city positioning. Like this kind of took up. If he sailed here, then it would have been a lot harder to kill his capital. But uh, since I got this location, there's no real other place he could settle. The AI is very bad. Either it depends on the leader you're playing. Sometimes they settle everywhere, like Alexander. Or sometimes they don't settle, like Ramses. But he was sort of mid. He got a few cities, just nowhere near uh, anywhere that would have been defensible, like Raz. I kind of I guess I could have planned in our city after Salzburg, maybe like here or like here, but that wouldn't have really done anything. It would have just crippled me. But yeah, you may focus on production. Like this city twenty thirteen eleven. That isn't exactly a lot, but this city is kind of crap production. Just has a ton of food. Yeah, I'm doing best production in GMP and soldiers obviously. He has twelve thousand. So that is too good. He's doing good in science, I guess. But because he's in the Renaissance, but that won't help him. But yeah, I guess I'll just take his cap now. It doesn't even. So yeah, Austrian succession. That's the first time I won on a with Austria. But this is also the first time I won on a mortal. But this I don't even really count as a victory since it was against one person, and I was mainly just exploiting. I guess I got I managed to get Augustus due to the speed I did it at. But uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's another island, apparently. It wasn't connected though, so... I get my first city, and I think I get my third city before he got a second. Something ridiculous. We'll see. Oh no, he got a second before mine. But then he got his third. But those didn't really help him. You'll see my citadel. I buy this tile and put the citadel down. And then that pretty much signifies the end. So you can more scroll to the last turn. Yeah, where this was a small continent, dual maps are very unbalanced mainly, I would say. You generally want, well maps in Civ are generally unbalanced, but you, most of the time you want a more balanced map. But, yeah, I guess that was a quick video. Next time I'll get, I guess this is two days where I kind of had like, a non like, normal, or non regular. Just a different video. I might put this under the game mechanic series. I don't know. I probably will, because I don't want to put a series with one video. So, yep. That's it for today. Tomorrow it is, then.